Hey, good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We're just kind of waiting here right now for them to uh, bring us an empty trailer, and then we'll hook up to that, and then uh, we'll make our way down to our pickup location. Yeah, it is an early morning. It's about quarter after three central time right now, and a morning, so... Uh, yeah, but we need to get going here so that way we can uh, so we can get our way down to our pickup. We need to be there at 8:30. That's uh, Eastern time, so that's 7:30 at our time. So we kind of need to get going here in a little bit. So because it's some back roads that we're going to have to be driving and all that good stuff. So uh, you never know; it could be a little bit slower going than regular interstate going right so we want to give us a little bit extra time so we can get there on time right that's the plan so uh, that's coming right along with us today and let's see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you guys today so let's stick around for the rest of the show guys would you It looks like the sun has finally come up a little bit and when I looked on the map this 23 looks a lot narrower than it actually is I thought for sure this was going to be like a really super narrow road and it actually turns out to be a two-way uh, or a two-lane highway each direction for the most part so far so that is fantastic news. We just went over one of the big hills up here. Now this is a brand spanking new road that I have never ever been on. So you are, you guys are coming with me for the first time. And it looks like even a little bit of a ramp up here. That's not much of a ramp. So if you get run away up here, <laughs> that runaway ramp there, oh my God, I don't take that one there that looks in terrible shape up there well, it looks like seven percent downgrade going down and it's zigzagging through here but hey we'll make it we got uh, 30 31 more miles to go to our uh, pickup location so and it is right now 628 Manitoba time and 730 Eastern time. So we should be there about I would say about quarter after eight. So that should still give us enough time. We gotta be there by 8.30, right? So that's that's good. I think we left at the right time. And we will be there on time. That's what it matters, right? That's what matters. Being on time for a delivery or pickup doesn't matter. Being on time is what is important to me and to the customers as well. But yeah, the air is still very smoky up here as well. I even seen signs up here earlier saying that it be cautious, whatever smoke ahead and all that stuff but anyways here we are just cruising right on through here and figured well the sun has come up enough to where I think you guys can see me a little bit so we should be able to videotape a little bit get our day started well you know we already got one clip in there earlier right but Beautiful scenery area up here though. Would be even nicer if it wasn't this foggy or smoky or whatever you want to call it. But hey there a second ago it got down to like minus three up there uh, top of the hill. So yeah, it's definitely freezing up here. You can even see it like these roofs they're all white. Covered in ice, that's for sure. But anyways, we'll make it our way down to our pickup and then we'll see how fast that's going to be over there hopefully they're going to be pretty quick 
that way we can continue rolling again today. That would be awesome. At least it would make it worthwhile if we're getting up this early in the morning, right? We did get up super, super early, that's for sure. We have just gotten loaded. It only took about an hour and a half for the whole process to take place. That's awesome news. Yeah, maybe about two hours, I guess. Close to two hours. But, uh, yeah. Now we're on our way to a uh, pilot truck stop just down the road here, about a mile down the road here. There's a, well, it was a total of five miles from where I picked up, but we're only about a mile from it now. There's a pilot truck stop there, so we're gonna go down there and uh, destination in one mile on the right side. Make sure this load is legal, right? And apparently, it's even a little lighter than what it uh, originally was supposed to be. So, hey, I ain't gonna complain about that. <laughs> I enjoy it when that's a little lighter than what it was supposed to be. Looks like about 2,000 pounds, or almost about 1,800 pounds lighter than what was told to me, you know, I was told about uh, 44,000 pounds and I think it was like 42 something there, so you know, I'm pretty sure I'm still legal, you know, but uh, I want to be absolutely 100% positive, right? So we're going to go down here to the pilot and we're going to make sure we're going to get a cat skill. Yep, that's right be coming up here just over the interstate here. In a quarter mile on the right side. Right side, okay. Start slower down a little bit. Supposed to be a little dinky pilot up here, but at least they're supposed to have a scale, so let's see where that scale is at. It's probably on the other side over there. Slower down, buddy. Alright, no, you just you have, have to come right across there, right? On the right side, of course. pilot travel center <laughs> number 393. Of course, you just have to come right across here. Alright. Now I need to go to the scale. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which way we can go, but... Yeah, let's get on here and see if we can... Get onto the scale here. Looks like this driver up here got in there and he got a flat tire, so I don't know why he couldn't drive into the back there and park properly, but he decided to park right here beside the scale, I guess. He got a steer tire flat. Well, wow, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, let's get right onto the scale there and let's get this baby scaled. I have now scaled my load as you guys saw I went on the scale there went and got my ticket there my scale ticket and we're all a-okay guys yes indeed we are we are definitely good to go we were 32,820 uh, 32, pounds on the uh, on the drives, 11,700 on the steers and 32,000 and, uh, 32, and change on the back, so nothing to complain about. I mean, yeah, I only have about a half a tank of, of fuel or maybe a little less than a half a tank, so I couldn't uh, probably, you know, I would have to slide my axle a little bit forward if I want to fuel up all the way, but... I don't think we're going to be fueling up anyway, so I think we're just going to, you know, down the road maybe put 50 gallons in or something like that, just so we can make it up to Canada. I try to fuel as much as I possibly can in Canada, because then I get the GST back from that. And, you know, the exchange rate is quite high, so uh, on the United States dollar, is that's what I'm talking about. So I tried to fuel up in Canada and yeah so this whole stretch here that I'm going right now is all new territory for me as well. I'm currently on I-40 and they got a 50 mile an hour speed limit right here. I don't know how far this stretch goes and no trucks are allowed in the left lane so uh, we gotta keep her in the right lane. 
can't pass nobody. Yep, that's right. But that's all right. I guess it's a little zigzagging through here, so they put the speed limit a little lower and have no trucks in the left lane, so that way we can go around these corners not too fast, you know. Somebody probably screwed it up, went way too fast up here, and probably shifted the load, or even worse, maybe rolled her over, you know, lost it. I bet you that's probably why they have that cement barrier right there. That way the vehicles keep on this side of the road. <laughs> but yeah, we are loaded, locked and loaded. We got 709 miles to go to our... Ooh, you're on the wrong ball. Yeah, you're on the wrong lane there, buddy. Hey, buddy, there is no trucks allowed in the left lane. Give him shit a little bit. No trucks are allowed in the left lane, but yet he passed me. That was illegal there, MTS. Uh huh. You'll see the sign right here coming up here. No trucks, three axle or more in the left lane. Right there to the left. I mean to the right. That's where the sign was. Yeah. You know, because I keep myself generally within the speed limit and he's going faster than the speed limit so not only did he pass me in the left lane he's also speeding it was, uh, it was too slow for him that I was going oh well if he gets caught he'll be in trouble not me right yep that's right because up here is the sign where it says trucks 50 miles an hour yeah, you see that right there? 50 miles an hour, 55 for cars, and right here even they got it painted in the left lane there. Saying no trucks in the left lane. Yeah, oh well. Some people don't give a shit or they don't care, right? But anyways, enough of that. We'll continue with our journey. Alright guys, we are still giving her. Just figured I'd turn my cameras on and show you some more goodies. Look at the beautiful view you're going to get from up here, eh? Nice little valley like that, up and down, up and down, but hey, I just called the customer and they said that uh, as long as I get to them tomorrow before, let's say, 3.30, quarter to 4, they'll still unload me. There's no real tight appointment over there so uh, I'm gonna be putting the hammer down and get some good miles in today so that way we can be there early well as early as we can right I'm suspecting I'll be down there probably for I'd say 2 30 3 o'clock that's kind of what I'm guessing that I'll be down there for but yeah we'll give it our best shot right but you know, when customers tell you that, that usually inspires me, you know? Because then I can go down there and get my load off tomorrow afternoon. And, and then I can be ready for the next one, you know? Although I am going to be a little tight on hours. Uh, regardless of which direction they send me, I may have to do a reset on the road. I just may have to do it because uh, I looked at my hours and it looks like uh, I'll have about 24 and a half hours left on the logbook when I get down there and that's by London so that's not enough hours for me to make it home on so I only get hours back on the 12th on the 12th on, the, on Sunday that would be the 19th no that's Saturday I said Sunday that's Saturday so that might actually work then I might I might just have to go home and just you know I would only get home on Saturday but uh, hey we'll see what they'll give me I don't really care whatever they give me it's fine yeah, 
I thought it was Sunday that I get the hours back, but it's actually Saturday, so it would be Sunday for the United States. But uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes, what kind of reload we will get, but I might end up sitting there pretty much all day Thursday then probably again. Might have to wait till uh, Thursday night to pick up that load that we usually bring back to Steinbach. I might get that load again. Well, we'll see. Just a matter of time and we'll find out, right? That's right. Now the challenge is get, getting to my delivery before 3.30, quarter to 4, so... Tomorrow, that is, not today. All right, guys, we are now in Cincinnati. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking this 275 bypass around here. And my GPS don't like it too much, but I don't care. I'm going around anyways. I don't want to go through all of that, uh, all of that rush hour traffic there downtown Cincinnati, so we're going go bypass that that's the plan anyway so we got 31 Continue more miles road. and we'll be back on uh, on I-75 so state border ahead all right well we'll probably be in Ohio then I guess I would assume that's what I would think but yeah I just saw a big truck there he took one of the guardrails out uh, there just a little bit ago yeah, it wasn't good. But I guess that's the way it is, eh? Sometimes accidents happen and he's probably trying to avoid something. And looks like a lot of brake lights up there, so we're better gonna slow her down a little bit. You don't wanna get into an accident either, right? Looks like there's a little bit of a traffic jam on here on here too, but Hopefully it ain't too bad. We'll get across here and we'll be in Ohio. Looks like we got that uh, river coming up there. I'm not sure if that's the Ohio River or or which one this one is, but maybe they'll have a sign up there and we'll know, right? But the sun is starting to go down and uh, we are going to go ahead and stop here pretty soon too. We're not going to go too much further anymore. Yeah, we are almost done for today. Yeah, it is the Ohio River. Yeah, here we are. Welcome to Ohio, right here. Yeah, that's a beautiful river there. Nice little bridge. Takes us across anyways, right? That's right. Already talked to the customer, we can possibly unload and all that. Crossing border, entering Ohio. Let's see what this patch has got to say about all of that. They still haven't gotten back to me yet, but you know, we still have to drive a few miles. Huh? Actually, we have 393 miles to go yet. So we will be at our customer. And, you know, looks like it's coming to a stop up there now. At least a lot of brake lights are on over there, so we'll slow it down. All right, guys, we are done for today. I have had a very successful day, in my opinion. Yes, indeed, it has been. We got up real early, got our load, and got us a good distance worth of driving in the books yet. So, uh, looks like we're going to be able to make it to our delivery tomorrow. Yes, indeed. So let's not waste too much time and let's go to bed and uh, get us a good night's sleep and then we'll get up early tomorrow morning and hammer down towards our delivery place and uh, hope for the best so we can get unloaded right so uh, stick around tomorrow we'll see what kind of goodies we'll be able to bring to you tomorrow <laughs>